Patricia Glass of Abraca Doodle of Raleigh is Absolutely. here. And Jennifer Stark is also here. Hi, Jennifer. And Lylan is here. Hello, beautiful Lylan. <laughs> hey, so we're going to get some suggestions on how to keep the kids occupied on snow days. Uh, so, what can we do, Patricia? How do we prep? Prep. Okay. Prep is key. Prep is key. We want to make sure that. Anything we have in the house can be used as for in our project. Okay. But try to keep some basics in there. We're going to try for the crayons. We're going to have paints. We're going to have paper. Paper is key. Obviously, you can use your printer paper, but please try and keep some art paper in there for so them. So you call these like emergency kits? These are our art emergency kits. This is what we prepare for our own families, mm -hmm. and I keep them in my house. And we keep a list that we can present to and put up on our website for you. And each of these items will keep your child occupied for hours. Okay, what is Lylan doing over there? She's already doing a design. We're roll, gonna roll do your sleeves up, girl. Product. Roll your sleeves yeah, up. Uh -oh. Uh oh, mama doesn't want glue on the, on the sleeves. <laughs> it's okay. Luckily, everything's washable and non-toxic. We don't have to worry about that. Okay. And so you can um, use stuff from around the house to keep kids Around the house. Occupied. Something really simple. Kosher salt. Oh, how can we use that? Well, what we're going to do today, we're going to use some black paper, black construction paper, because it's nice and stiff, okay. and it will show the colors even better. Okay. And we're going to use some watercolors. We're not going to use them as traditionally as we normally do. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we're actually going to kind of flood the palette so that we can use, suck it up with a dropper. Okay. And we're going to take some glue, and we're going to draw whatever you want. Whatever design you want, the more abstract, the better. It looks amazing. Nice. And Plus, we then, all know that art that other people make that nobody else can really figure out is worth more, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> if J Jackson Pollock can do it, so can we. <laughs> and we're going to put it in a pan, because I know how parents really love to have messes in their kitchens. Yeah, but that uh, is so smart. But here we go. We're going to put some salt. Just using regular salt. Regular Look salt. We're going to cover the entire thing with it. It's going to look kind of like snowflakes, uh -huh. shiny, sparkly. And kids love doing this because, of course, this is the first time they get to use things like spices in a way they normally don't Could get to. Could you use other spices or salt this? Salt is probably best, and I would suggest kosher salt really more than anything else because it sucks up the colors so and well. Usually kids get in trouble for making a mess and pouring stuff out in the kitchen, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. This so, is fun for them. Exactly. It's a perfect opportunity for you to get that no word out of the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. so once all the salt is attached to the glue, oh, look, look at, at the smile on Lylan's face already. It. Look at that. Can That's pretty cool. Turn it around cool. so everybody Let's, at home can see it. Turn it around. Turn it towards the camera. There you go. Okay, but this is only part of the magic. This once is only we start part of the magic. Of the color, Absolutely. So now how do you incorporate color into that? Now that's the cool part. Okay. Let's take that. Get that out of the way. And let's put, I'm going to put just a smidge more salt on Lylan's right there. Lylan, how fun is this? Is this really fun? Now you oh, can do girl. this for hours. So that's just a dropper, a medicine dropper? A medicine dropper. It's a medicine dropper that you can use. Have your child select the colors that they love. My daughter actually selected a rainbow array of mm -hmm. colors, and it turned out phenomenally. This kept her occupied, by the way, for two and a half hours. So just wet the paint. Just wet the paint. Then suck it up with the medicine dropper. Suck it up with the medicine dropper. Oh. Try and we'll, if you see right now, the color actually bleeds into the next color. Neat. So you can select multiple colors. It'll turn out like a tie-dye kind uh -huh. of effect. And it's beautiful. Now, here's the only problem with this project. <laughs> it doesn't last. This is not something you can frame and put on your wall. Okay. But as far as process art, mm -hmm. this is phenomenal. This yeah. is all about your child's imagination, the process of making, creating, and doing. And that's what it's all about. It's that's not about the end result, about. it's about the process. Exactly. I cannot wait to see what you come up with, Lylan. Can we show everybody what you've done so far? Can, it will, is it okay to hold it up or will it mess up the project? Let's hold it up. Oh, let's hold it up and see what happens. It's going to get really, really crazy with all those colors. One thing I will say is oh, it is best when you use, isn't that awesome? That is awesome. And the colors just go right into each other. I love it. Let's Patricia, thank you. You're very welcome. And so you're gonna be, she's going to be giving away some of these emergency kits on her Facebook page. But if you want a, a link to that Facebook page or if you want more information about things you can do, they've got a full list. We'll have it all up at MyCarolinaToday.com.